Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Panzo6, and today I have a new episode of Let's Talk because I've got a lot of stuff that's on my mind, and it's the other day you got to see some things I talked about on Twitter or Facebook, mainly about me not making any content this week or uh, setting myself up for failure. Um, this is what this is about, and I want to try to clear some things up because um, there's some things that's been bugging me quite a bit, so... Um, obviously I need to get that off my chest and I figured this is the best way to do it because not only does it help me out but it also helps you guys understand what I'm going through um, so as you guys may know for the last maybe month or so I started this campaign thing both a GoFundMe and now a recently launched um, Kickstarter for a business that I'm trying to open up that also it's a game store but also helps up out people um, with anxiety disorders and you know for the most part I've got a lot of good support um, but I've also got a lot of bad feedback mainly just saying people just saying really terrible things which for the most part I don't let these things get to me um, but it's been um, Mo mainly more forthcoming like it's been non-stop for the most part to the point where it is bothering me and a lot of it has to do is like you're gonna fail you suck uh, you know why would you want to open up a business for people to you know that are just sad it sounds like a sad pathetic excuse blah 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 um, that kind of stuff um, for some odd reason I think the a lot of people don't think anxiety and depression are you know big problems I think they think it's like something but <laughs> it's not real which it is it's a it's a big fucking thing it's it's terrible and the reason why I say that I've been almost a week and a half without my medication because I ran out of medication and I just got paid today so I have to get my medication um, because I've been having a lot of problems, um, been really like mood swings, um, you, you name it. I just felt like, felt like shit. I've been letting things get to me and I normally don't. And the medicine kind of helps, helps that out. And if you, if you, if you are, you know, experiencing things like that and you've got depression, anxiety, and you take medicine, you may be able to, you know, <laughs> see where I'm coming from because, that medicine helps. It really does. It really does help. Um, and <laughs> coupled with that and, you know, the shoulder thing, which really sucks. It really hurts. I, I went, I was supposed to have a um, MRI done this week. And I woke up, it was like 7 in the morning. I think it was on a Tuesday. I drove all the way. It was about 30, 40 minutes away. Um, only for them to say the doctor that was supposed to do it was not there today and I don't fit in their MRI machine because my shoulders won't clear. It's not that I'm fat, it's that I have wide shoulders, I have a wide frame um, or you can just call me a fat ass, that's fine too, don't really care. But um, yeah, I have to go on the 24th, do this and this is a constant pain, it's fucking terrible, I hate it. I hate it a lot, and that coupled with, you know, I've been <laughs> looking back at things of where I started, um, you know, having an office of my own, having a really good job, having a good, you know, making really good money, having a nice place, um, and just just thinking about these things. Like I don't normally think about them. I don't want to think about the past because. You know, that depresses me, and I don't want to think about it, but lately, I've been thinking about it, and I don't want to think about it, and I think it's just a medicine, like, it, it really does, it, it helps, it really does help, um, in my case, without it, I feel like I'm losing my mind a little bit, uh, being, like I said, it's just fucking terrible, I'm telling you, it's, it's awful, um, Aside from that, to just you know, I I've been, I come to the realization that some things might not work out. I might be setting myself up for failure. 
um, rather it be from wanting to make it in YouTube or Twitch, wanting to be, you know, opening up this business, you know, so I might be setting myself up for failure. I could be dead on arrival. But, but, you know, as much criticism I could get, which is not much, you might not see in the comments, but, you know, uh, other outlets like Twitter, Reddit, um, word of mouth, um, that's what I'm hearing the most. Um, and it sucks. It does. It does. It really does. It really does. And, you know, one of the biggest things, too, is when you try to advertise yourself on social media, um, you get accused a lot for se uh, shame, shameful self-promotion. Um, and, you know, doesn't most, <laughs> aren't most YouTubers, uh, game journalists, journalists, anything, that's self, they self-promote themselves. You know, the bigger the outlet, the bigger the YouTuber is, they, it's less forgiving. But if you're a small-time YouTuber or a small-time, you know, game journalist, and you're trying to get your stuff out there, even in the most subtle ways, it's almost near fucking impossible because you got all these people. It's like, oh, you're self-promoting. Let's delete your post. Let's get rid of that. We don't want you to do that. And I mean, <laughs> yes, I self-promote myself. I, I, you know, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Reddit, Tumblr, Instagram, uh, Twitch, um, all kinds. Of, and I even use my email. I even go as so far as last year going through a Memorial Day parade, walking through and passing out, you know, flyers for my channels. I walked literally six miles around. It's probably more than that, actually, in the, the blistering sun and <laughs> passing out flyers. And, you know, I did the same thing here. Um, I, I got accused of, you know, not looking too much into the business thing. I've looked a lot into it. You know, I know what it's going to cost. Um, and, you know, the Kickstarter and the GoFundMe, that's a small amount. I don't want you guys to have to pay a whole lot of money for this. I don't, you know, if I was able to, I would pay for it right out of the pocket. Um, why I'm asking for so little is just the fact that, A, it's a good faith will loan thing. A lot of loan companies, business loans, will not look at you unless you have, you know, money in the bank. <laughs> you know, that just supposed not happen. Um, and, you know, the, the money I plan on using for this is for the startup. You know, that does help. It contributes to this. Um, and, you know, I'm not doing it for a scam. I'm not doing it for that. I, I really want this to work out. And, you know, I can talk about it, you know, for hours on end. And you, you're going to always have people that's really skeptical about these things. Um, and that really does suck. It does suck. Um, as a 28-year-old man, <laughs> going from, you know, having an awesome job, uh, you know, great things uh, going for me, uh, which I still have awesome things, so don't get me wrong, I still have awesome things going for me. You know, I have a beautiful, a beautiful fiancé um, that we're going to get married hopefully soon. Um, you know, we have an apartment now. After we have our own apartment, just me and her. No other people. We don't have to worry about other people. Um, I think we have a bright future coming on. But, you know, it's just, it is really hard. It is kind of hard. And especially when, you know, you're dealing with the depression and stuff like that. That does suck too. And I, you know, I might be just overlooking things. I might be overthinking things or just fearing things for the worst because of the medicine or the lack thereof. Um, but, I, you know, I want to be honest with you guys. I, I totally do. I, I want you guys to know from the bottom of my heart that my heart is set for you guys. Um, I want to help out the gaming community. I've always wanted to do this, like, forever. And you know what? There is a million people that has the same aspirations, the same dreams as I do. And, you know, I'm, try I'm, I'm, I'm trying so hard. Um... And I, I don't want you guys to think that, you know, I'm just a whiny, uh, 
whiny, I can't even think of the words. It's crazy. <laughs> It'll come to me. I swear to God, I'm going to be sitting, you know, at breakfast here in about an hour, and <laughs> it's going to come to me. I'm going to, the words and the ideas are just going to hit me, and I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. And my fiance is going to look at me, or whoever's around me is going to look at me, and they're going to be like, where did that come from? I, I do that all the time. I do that all the time. But just, you know, I, this could happen for days. You know, I could be thinking of, about an actor or an actress in a movie. And I forget their name. Five days later, walking down the street with, you know, whoever or at lunch or something or at work, I automatically shout it out. I'm like, oh, Tom Hanks or something like that. That happens a lot. That does. It does. I don't know if that's normal. I think it is. I think it's. I'm not. I'm. I'm completely normal. <laughs> um, but I, I do apologize. This kind of is bitchy. Um, more than often, I don't. I don't tend to bitch a lot. And I don't want to, because it's not really good. But um, I. You know, I just want to let you guys know this. Um, just to tell you everything that's going on. Um, and if you want to help me out, if you want to talk to me. Um, you know, I'm all ears. Um, I can help out. You know, I, I like to get talk, you know, good things. People say nice things. That's great. You know, waking up in the morning and see, seeing my cats or kittens, that's awesome too. Uh, kittens are like my medicine right now. Um, <laughs> I, every, every day it's like I wake up. And I look at these newborn cats, I'm like, ah, oh, my heart just automatically melts. It's like, this is the greatest thing. I think they're like my instant relief. But eat, no matter how, what the hard day is, which is kind of funny because um, the other day, you know, my our, our cat, she had four cats. Well, four kittens, two which died. One is a black one that's really big. It's actually really fat for a kitten. And we have the white one, which I think she was the runt. And we named the Rolly and Polly. <laughs> and um, the black one finally got her eyes open. Um, and that was just fine. But, but Polly, on the other hand, her eyes were still, you know, having problems opening up because she developed this infection, which is really common for kittens around that age. It's, you know, their eyes will crust up to the point where they can't open them. And, um, you know, I was reading online, the best way to take care of it is hot compressions with, um, you know, a wet wash rag, and it'll help clear that stuff up. So, <laughs> the other day I was having, I was really pissed off, I had, and I won't go into details about it because it's not really appropriate for here. Um, but, <laughs> me and my fiance gets home, and I'm pissed. I, I'm, and, you know, not at her, just something all went down, and, you know, <laughs> the little I, I we went and I immediately went to the kittens started looking at them and you know after I read the thing on the internet about how to get the cat's eye open um, I was sitting there and I had a kitten in my hand and I was on the ottoman just looking at it and I started wiping them off finally getting one finally opens the little cat's eyes open you see it's little, like it looks really dark in there. I thought maybe you know, it was blind. Then it opens the second eye. And I was ecstatic. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. And the cat, the kitten, the first thing it got to see when it was, you know, opened its eyes was me. So I guess that's counted as, as imprinting. So the horrible day that I had or the shit that went on to throughout that week or the things went on in my mind cleared away immediately and <laughs> it was funny because I busted out and I cried I literally cried because like the little things are what the little things are what help people out you, you may not know it's you like you can have the most shitty day and the smallest thing, it could be anything from, you know, a little girl, give me a flower, uh, somebody saying hello or thank you or give me a smile. It could turn your day completely around. And I got this sense of overwhelming joy. Um, and it just like <laughs> hit me. So I, I just pretty much busted out crying, which my, my fiance I think is kind of 
kind of cute, but I, it's embarrassing a little bit because, you know, I, I'm a really big softy. You know, I may look big and brutish and it's kind of scary to some people, which I've been told that I'm kind of intimidating. Um, but I've got, I wouldn't hurt a fly. I've got the, I think I have a really big heart and I get complimented a lot about that, which, you know, I think that's a great thing. I think that's one of the things that's going to define me because I, you know, I take a lot after my grandpa, grandma, my mom, um, you know, want to help anybody, anybody I can. I would give the shirt off my back. Um, and I've, I've done that. And the thing, and, you know, the thing is it's hurt me in the past, but I still, I, I, I don't want to see people going to foul because it's terrible. I just can't, I can't handle it. I can't handle somebody that needs something and, you know, I just can't handle it. <laughs> That's why I want these, this, you know, this thing to work out because I think it would be great and I think it would help a lot of people out. Um, and if it fails, it fails. If it, if it does, you know, it's just another thing. It's life. Uh, life has its setbacks and, you know, I'll just have to deal with that. That's just something I will have to deal with. Um, the other day, um, Boogie's uh, 2988's um, subreddit, you know, I, I sent him this heartfelt, uh, it's like a big thank you, basically. And it got out of fucking hand. And I don't want to go much in details because he wanted to kind of keep it within the subreddit. But there are some mean fucking people. There's a lot of mean people out there that want nothing more to, but to see people just suffer for no reason. You got these keyboard warriors are like, oh, God, you're fat, you're ugly, you're stupid, you're never going to make it. <laughs> and as I hit, I start hitting buttons on my keyboard, making things beep. No, but you... you it's crazy. You you can say you can be the nicest person, have no flaws, every, which everybody's got a flaw. Everybody has problems, and but you know if you you're doing awesome on the internet, people will fucking attack you over the smallest things. They'll find the one thing that if you have hair, like maybe right here or on your nose, or if you have unibrow, or if you have a lisp, they'll take one thing that's your flaw. And they will fucking destroy you. And they will make you feel bad. Terrible. And, you know, I see that a lot on, on Boogie's... I've been following Boogie for six or seven years now. And, you know, I've seen his channel grow. I've seen changes. I've seen his successes, his setbacks. And, you know, he's been a big inspiration for me in order... That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because, you know... He actually went out and did. I've been watching him for years, like I said. And I would have done this stuff sooner, but I never had the means to do so. And, you know, <laughs> a, a thank you saying nice things on this subreddit exploded. It ended up having like almost 100 some comments. I haven't looked at it lately because a lot of the stuff that was said was fucking fucking vile and poisonous which it's it's a fucking shame it's it really is it's, it's really it's a shame because you know nice people you know pe people don't want nice people to have nice things um then you have people that has this thing like you have to be a certain size look i'm a fat ass i i can go ahead and tell you i am fat you can call me fat all day. I don't give two shits. That is fine. But, you know, I, you know, some people are bothered by that. You know, and I've watched, you know, and that's the big thing. Boogie, he's a big guy. He understands that. He really does. He completely understands that. He's tried to get it fixed, the problem. I've tried to fix my problems. There's plenty other people that's tried to fix their problems. You know, not all of us are stare, you know, beefed up, supermodel looking, want to be vegan, drinking your wheatgrass, running 10 miles. I, I you know, I, that's fucking fine. I don't care. But 
There's people just like tearing him apart. You know, on a subreddit, on a forum of his own. You know, you had trolls coming out of everywhere just just to have their input. And then the thing is, my initial like the thing I wrote up, typed up for him, had nothing to do with you know being overweight. Nothing. It had nothing to do with it. Nothing. And it turned into that. It automatically turned into that. Um, it automatically turned into fat shaming. And that's what it was. It was nothing but fat shaming. And, you know, there's people who says fat shaming is not a real thing. Yes, it is. It's a real fucking thing. It's a thing. <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, you, you know, I've been called fat several times. You know, one on my Twitch Twitch channel, um, which was really funny. Um, I used to Twitch a lot, and <laughs> I had a couple of people come in. This guy from Atlanta, which was really cool. Um, he's, he gets on the channel first thing. He says, "Oh, look, another fat neck beard talking about video games." I was like, "Oh, that's cool." You know, thank you for stopping by. Anyways, I you know I don't really care. You can call me fat. That's fine. Um, and I think after that, the guy was really cool. We ended up talking. Uh, he's He followed me there for the longest time. Then, you know, I stopped streaming. And, you know, I've had people call me fat, you know, all my life. That's, you know, that's fine. You know, I've dropped a lot of weight. I gained, dropped, gained, dropped. I used to be really fit back in high school. And, you know, it's just one of those things. Like, <laughs> after high school, college happened and I got fat. Then I decided to be in a band again. Then I got skinny. Then I got fat. Then I got skinny. Now I'm fat. And hopefully one of these days I'll be skinny again. And, you know, I have been trying to work on it. I have. I really have. I try. I, I do eat a whole lot more healthier than I did. Uh, I don't eat nearly as much. I think I've lost about 10, 15 pounds since um, the last time I went to the doctor. So, but, you know, it, it is true. It's true. Um, and I've bounced from bounce everywhere on this video I I guarantee it um, but you know it, it is it's a thing it's a thing people like to tear people apart they don't like to see other people happy uh, they don't want things to work out for people that you know have huge dreams or aspirations that's just the way the internet internet is and <laughs> you can look no further than YouTube comments because that's you see a lot of it 4chan, Reddit, uh, any gaming subreddit, any any type of comment section or forum, you're going to see all kinds of craziness. And that's what the internet is basically made for. People to get on and complain and make fun of other people and porn. Of course they're porn. But then you have people bitching about that. It's like, that guy, that guy, that girl's boob. That girl's boob has a freckle. Oh my God, it's terrible. That fat person, she's so fat and ugly. Oh God, oh God. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, guys, sorry for uh, keeping you guys here for a whole lot longer than I thought I was going to spend it. Um, again, my name is Panzo6. Thank you so much for you know following me so far and all the support. Um, and if you're having a bad day, if you're having a bad day or something's been bugging you, or if you're going through anxiety, depression, or somebody's calling you fat, or picking out your one flaw that you may have, if you have a giant toe or whatever, don't worry about it. Um, I know it's hard to say it, you know, hard to not worry about it because we're human. And that's what we do. We like, we, we like to... Um, fix our flaws because we want to fit in. We want to fit into what society considers norm. And so I want to get to you. And if you're, like I said, the little things are what help the most. You can wake up have, after having the worst day of your life and somebody can just throw a smile back at you and that will immediately, that will help. Smile more. Smile. You know, say thank you. You know, comment on somebody's posts and just tell them how awesome they are. 
that's going to cheer people up. If you get, you get that kind of, you know, <laughs> oh my God. Um, if you get the, you know, get something like that coming towards you, um, just take it, take it. Because like I said, it's the little things are what help us throughout these hard times. And you'll see that uh, the more you go on, it's just the little things that count. And again, I do apologize that I went everywhere with this video. And if, you know, I've skipped things or sounded more off than usual, like I said, I've been off my medicine. That's really why I haven't wanted to make any content this week, which I should have my medicine hopefully by this weekend. And I should be fine. Um, and I'm, I'm going to try my hardest to get you guys some new content this week. Um, maybe Saturday, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. So uh, I tend to try to get at least four or five videos out a week. That way, you know, if you guys, you know, one thing you don't like, there might be something you might, you might like. I don't know. It's, it's all good. Uh, but anyway, sorry for the stuttering again. And sorry for the, the overly long 26 minute, almost 27 minute long video about me just bitching about things that happen on the internet or bad things that happen in my life. That's what Let's Talk is about. It's more just me talking about things that's been going on. And I hope you do like it. I hope, um, you know, out of all the crap that I've talked about today, um, maybe, maybe it'll help you out. And if you want, you know, tell me about your day. Let me know how you feel. And um, I definitely will appreciate it. And I'll, you know, I'll try my best to contact you and, you know, help you out. Maybe throw some good words towards you. And, you know, I think that's what the world needs. I think the world just needs more people smiling and more good things said to other people. That's what the world needs. But that's not going to happen because we live in a world where that just doesn't happen. Again, my name is Fanso6. Thank you so much for hanging out. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And again, I love you guys so much. Thank you.